Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today is my what sold for last week which will be the 5th of June through the 8th, Monday through Thursday. I had an amazing week. I had a really, really good weekend and then this week that little glitch happened on eBay. I'm not quite sure what the problem was and my sales have tanked, tanked so badly that it is almost 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon and I've not made a single sale. Nothing. Nothing. It's a little disconcerting but the last two days have been awful and I'm sure something is going on back in eBay land but I'm hoping I can get that momentum built up again because I was finally after the whole vacation and I turned off um, international shipping for 10 days to see what would happen and then I turned it back on and my sales were back to normal if not even better than normal for me and then the last three days again again but I've got I've got some good ones to share with you for last week um, but the other platforms are dismal just dismal for me right now. In fact, I only have two sales, I think, to share from Mercari. Nothing from Posh, which I usually do okay on Posh. And Etsy is just, Etsy's just dead. Just dead. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one up. Anybody else on the fence about Etsy? I already turned off all of the, you know, where it renews. So, you know, everything that's on there when the the four months is over, it's just turning off, and I'm just going to have to reconsider that. So it is what it is. I'll just keep on keeping on. I am surrounded right now with stuff that needs to get listed. Y'all, we found the most amazing yard sale this morning. Amazing. Everything was a dollar. I got so much Lululemon. Some of it still with its original tags. Lily Pulitzer just brands that we do not normally find. We, j we just don't. So I I'm considering doing a haul just on that. We bought a hundred, supposedly, because it was a dollar a piece, 140 pieces. So let me know if you want me just to do a haul on this. It's not my norm, and I'm not sure how everybody will feel about it, but I was just thrilled. We went off and did other yard sales, and then we came back, and they were sold out. Obviously, they would be sold out. So it was so much fun to just see all of these brands that I hear other people talking about, but we very, very seldom find it. Lily Pulitzer with tags. I never find that. Lululemon. I never find that. But all right, let's get to this. Some good sales, but not starting off. These are my two sales on Mercari. Hold on, I gotta move my snack. I'm snacking. All right. Um, I bought a huge box of, or tote, of tablecloths at a yard sale. The whole tote was $5. Most of them had been like partially, I mean, used, but they were clean. And some of them didn't look like they'd ever been used. So I made sure I took them out. I made sure everything looked good. And I've listed most of them. This one sold for $9. And then this Gund Winnie the Pooh Piglet Plush 10 inch sold for $7 best offer. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. Um, so when I say something sold for the price that I'm going to tell you, the buyer did pay extra for shipping. All right, start with eBay. Close. Just My Size Women's Jeans sold for $16. We've been hitting the clothing much harder. It's summer vacation, so Robert has more time, less responsibilities with homeschool co-op and uh, martial arts. So he's been really helping me a lot with the um, pictures for clothing. Lego Duplo Primo Blocks. These are the large blocks. And I talk about this a lot, but a lot of times if I just find a few of them, I go ahead and list them. Hoping I'll find some more and I can add to that listing, but it's just easier for me to find 
stuff that I've listed to add stuff to if, you know, it's already in a bin and I just go get it, take some more pictures, up the price, and put it back in the bin. So $9 for just a couple of the Primo blocks. Gund Puddles Dog Plush, 7 inch with a red collar, sold for $13.45. Now this is one of the examples. I had the larger lovey and then I found probably in a bins bag this little smaller version of the rabbit. So I pulled it, took a few extra pictures, up the price it sold almost immediately. This is Boogenhead Gray Rabbit Lovey and a little small pacifier holder, $13.45. Robert picked these up at an estate sale. I want to say they were 50 cents each. Iron Maiden cassette tape lot of three. I took a best offer of $35. Now, a lot of these, we don't pick up a lot of cassettes, but a lot of the ones that we do pick up, the cases are in terrible condition. Now, for CDs, I did buy a case of replacement covers, you know, the case cassette, whatever you call them, the cases. Um, but I'm wondering if I should reinvest in some of the cassette, cassette stuff because like one of them was cracked. Anybody else considering doing that? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Dinosaur. This is two and a half inch figure sold for $8.96. Pillsbury Doughboy Plush. There was a 16 inch one and then a mini stuffed. Sold for $17.95. I received a message that, from the person who bought this. They, um, I guess, are in charge of a Chattanooga, Chattanooga Choo Choo Museum and um, sent me an offer and a little message saying that that's, this is where that was going to go. It is a certificate and a decal. Sold for $15 best offer. Gund. I love calling it Gund, but I gotta quit. Gund Pink, my first teddy bear. This is one of the larger ones, 18 inch. I pick these up a lot. There's several sizes, several colors. Sold for $10 best offer. Lee Relaxed Fit Women's Jeans, $15.01. This is typical type of stuff that we find in our area. We live in a very rural area. We find a lot of Lee and Wrangler, and those types of jeans. Robert loves to pick up jeans, but $15.01 is not too bad for Lee jeans. I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid $5 for it. it the Etch-A-Sketch by itself isn't worth a whole lot. The, the, the prize in all of this was this um, games and puzzles like overlay that you can sit on top of it and, you know, then play the games. Um, sold for $17.95. Walmart, love the brand. Rainbow Sloth Plush, 18 inch, sold for $15. Lee Men's Jean Shorts, black, black jeans tend to do better for us. Um, sold for $15.01. Just picked this up at that church sale that I've showed you guys a couple of videos of recently. I picked up three of these little Tykes phones. They were in different um, conditions, um, so I did list each one of them separately instead of one listing with three. Um, this first one has sold already though for $11. Now this, I think, was in last night's video or the night before. Um, went to an estate sale, paid $75 for a bag of just a lot of smalls, a lot of vintage um, Fisher Price. And then this Tonka was in there also. It is a motorcycle made in Hong Kong, sold very quickly for $15. This person sent me a message saying she was shopping my store. Could I wait a few days? I do not have immediate payment required on my listings for this very reason. Sometimes it might take somebody a couple of days to accumulate the things that they are interested in. Um, and I'm okay with that. 
I have waited up to like two weeks for um, payment. It's as long as I know it's coming, almost always they go ahead and pay. Um, but she bought nine plush and spent $80 and 50 cents. And it's just a lot of littles, uh, Tigger, Marshmallow from Ghostbusters, Nintendo, let me scroll down, Pete the Cat, the Care Bears book that came from the, the huge estate plush lot. Here's a little small Care Bear, but more contemporary. Applause Birthstone Bear, $10. Cow Plush, these kind of look like the Disney Puffs. Puffs, is that what they're called? Can't remember. Can't remember what they're called. Looks very similar to them. And this Aurora Cat in the Hat. $80 for nine plush. Can't beat that. Polar Express Bear Plush probably came from the Goodwill Bins on one of our sourcing trips. Um, sold for $22.45. This is a squeezable. I don't pick these up very often. Probably was in a bulk lot of something that I pur purchased, but still sold for $10. SeaWorld, this is a 14-inch polar bear plush, sold for $13.45. I picked these up probably two years ago at an estate sale. It was a, uh, the person had been addicted to QVC, to be honest. Tons of QVC stuff that day. Um, but I want to say I bought a huge pile of things, paid $60 for all of it. And um, these Bob Mackie sunglasses finally sold $12. I think this is the last set of the, the boxed stuff from an estate sale pickup we did earlier this year. Tons of train, um, HO scale train stuff. No trains, but a lot of accessories and these model type things. Um, these two Signal Bridge pieces sold for $31.45. I think we paid, I think $20 for a box and $15 for a box, something like that. But it was, they were packed full of stuff. Mon Lappin baby blanket. I think this was a Ben's pickup. So probably not very much, 50 cents or so for it. Sold for $10. It's not been listed very long. Now these, I took an offer. I just, I'm at the point where anything that was listed before January, I'm being, I'm sending out more offers. I'm you know, entertaining offers just to kind of get stuff moving. These were some 1968 Miller Studio Chalkware Swan Wall Hangings. I took an offer of $15.95. I'm sure I only paid one or two dollars for them. Build-A-Bear, I just showed this recently in a haul. In fact, you guys might not have even seen it yet, but this is from Great Wolf Lodge. It's Wiley the Wolf um, with a cute little hoodie on, $15.25. Cole's Cares, pick up most of them. This is Master Shifu, Shifu from Kung Fu Panda, $8.96. Jag Jeans. Um, sold for $13.21. Now these I picked up probably two years ago at an estate sale. I bought a ton there. ton of just lots of interesting vintage things. But there was a box of these nets that women used to wear over their hair. I divvied it up. I have several lots of them. These were for specifically gray or white hair. 12 packages, it says, have two nets. Eight, eight packages only had one net in them. I was trying to be very meticulous with my info because I just, you know, don't need any item not as describes. Um, I got an offer of $20. She sent me a message saying these were for her elderly mother and she was so happy to find them. $20. I think I picked this up not too long ago at an estate sale. 
maybe three or five dollars for it. It is a West Bend Comet rice aluminum steamer and cooker. It's three pieces. Um, I took a best offer of $35 for it. And Boyd's Bears. This is probably from Goodwill Bins. A lot of times if it's just cute, has a cute outfit on, I will go ahead and pick them up. It sold for $8 best offer. And then this Sears Windsor Collection White Moose Plush named Milton sold for $12.95. And then we're getting into some of my big dollars. This is Toys R Us Wooden Train Roundhouse. I think this has been listed a while. I think I bought a large tote and I separated stuff out. Um, this was the roundhouse. The roundhouses usually do really well, um, even when they're not Thomas. This is Toys R Us. But the problem is, is they're large and they're heavy. So, you know, basically you're waiting for that person who lives not too far from you where the shipping's not going to be outrageous because, like I said, I don't do free shipping and this was pre-packed so I knew exactly um, how much um, the measurements and everything were. Sold for $44.95. And then this, Robert picked this up at an estate sale or a yard sale not too far down the road. I think he did one of his shorts on it, but we're always looking for pharmaceutical company coffee mugs. We've done really well with some of them. This one was Paxil. Um, it had like gold metallic lettering on it. Um, I went high, but I got an offer for $50, which I went ahead and accepted $50 for a coffee mug. Always, every day, all day long. Then, this, not even the best sell yet. I picked this up at an estate sale. I want to say Robert said we paid a couple of dollars maybe for it. But it was a made in Germany clock kit. I'm um, still sealed. It took a best offer of $75 for it. And it went through the eBay International program. But my best sell, and I showed this, I think recently in a haul video. I was thrilled. Oh, I think it's from the church. I think this was from the church. The Gons. Webkin's Signature Series, which is the gold emblem on the foot. Timberwolf Plush. I paid a dollar for it, and I took a best offer of $125, and it did not have the code. So definitely keep your eyes open for some of these... Um, gone really really well all right i just realized my hair is a mess it's hot y'all and we've been out yard selling all morning but i can't wait to start getting through some of this other stuff that we've been purchasing the last couple of weekends because we just haven't got videos made on them yet so it's busy 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 here in our household so y'all get to work bye